Okay, this is uh, another project here where we're going to take uh, Elux 3D scan um, engagement ring here in green. Um, this is Russ Heider from the Jewelry CAD Institute, and we're going to show you how to make the, this band go alongside of this set. I'll just shut that off so you can kind of see where we're looking at. Okay, and this one I'm even going to do more simple than than the other one we did. Uh, we're just going to use some uh, cage edit to make this particular ring. So what we did is just made a uh, basic finger rail in here, a circle to come in here and added a profile to it. Um, again, you can use the profile that best fits your needs to come alongside here. Now in this case, all I'm going to do is come up and sweep this. So we'll use Metal 03. By the way, I'm using Matrix 9 again. So we'll go in here and do a one rail sweep. We'll choose that rail and we'll choose the profile. Hit enter and away we go. So we now have this uh, ring here that's on the outside. I just did move the finger rail out to the outside and also this profile so that it's kind of like right next to um, the existing scanned ring. Now the object here with Cage Edit is to get this ring to form fit around this side of the ring. Now in the next video we're going to go over doing it on the other side of the ring and we'll cover that as well. But for this one I'm just going to come in here and we'll go to user 04 and we're going to do the transform menu in Cage Edit. We'll choose bounding box. World is good. And I hit enter. And we can start taking this out now. We can do this in four pound, a four point count. Now it defaults to that when you come up around that corner. So um, basically, uh, well, I'm going to accept that for the moment. Hit enter and enter. And you'll see where our control points are here to adjust the ring. Okay. Now, remember from previously, what we need to do is to come in and grab these points, both upper and lower below the shank. And the reason why is because if you take and you just pull these top points out, what's going to happen to you is you're going to pull the top part of the ring out, uh, meaning this upper surface and not the inner surface. Now, if that's what you want to do, that's okay. Uh, but in this case, I want to move the whole thing out. So I'm going to start pulling it here, and you'll see the ring starting to deform and starting to come around uh, the ring here. And it's real simple to do. All right. And uh, this particular one here, I'll take these two, and we'll come back in a little bit there. Now, I'm not worrying about too much uh, when we when we pull this, but you want to keep working this and manipulating it until you get where you want to go with it. And <clears throat> you can adjust different uh, sets of points as well. I'm going to come over here and pull these two out now because what I'm looking at here in perspective, get a little bigger so you can see. Pull that out a little bit there. Back in a little bit, and we can come down here and pull these. So it's kind of a judgment call as to where you're pulling it and where you're not. Now, it doesn't look too bad at this point. However, uh, I think we need a few more points in here to make some other adjustments. Uh, over here on this side, we can start pulling this guy out a little bit. Again, this is a, kind of the easy way of doing this. And you just have to make sure which ones you're pulling to adjust the ring. Now, is it exacting in what you want to do? It may or may not be, but how good you are with these control points and their adjustments are going to pay dividends and how much time you're going to spend on this. All right, so you can see the space here. You also can move these points out 
okay but I don't necessarily want to do that because we're going to get off our ring rail okay all right so let's go ahead and hit escape there and then what I'm going to do is now go back into my bounding box and our cage edit we'll do that again world is fine only now I'm going to change these point counts uh, let's change it to five and hit enter five and hit enter and our z.5 and hit enter and then OK and OK and now you'll see we're adjusting it a little bit different areas here okay so I have a little bit more adjustment here that we can use and I'll go in and just window over the top of those points bring them out a little bit right there okay and we can take these guys here and move them in a little bit so it's just a matter of manipulation of these to see if you can get them in there fairly close up next to uh, what we're dealing with here. Now remember, um, you also are going to be able to finish this ring and make any final adjustments, of course, when you're uh, making the piece in metal. So things don't have to be exactly perfect here. Because uh, most guys will take and just solder this in here and then just bump it down here a little bit with the uh, hammer, mallet, whatever you want. Try to pull it in a little bit there and get a little look at that more from the top. Okay, so this is kind of a little bit different way of approaching this, but it works. And... Um, I like kind of working with it this way because it does give you a little bit. I'll move this over a little bit that way. Pull it in a little bit. Now, and then we'll get out of this finally. So we're not looking too bad. We can move this in closer now. The way I'm going to do that is I'll come back in now with another cage edit. And this time I'll change this back to four. on all X, Y, and Z. Enter, enter. You can see I've just kept up my points in the right spot there to pull that in. Okay, so let's just pull these top ones this time, see what we end up with. Pull it in a little bit here to adjust that part of it. And we'll pull it out a little bit here. Now, you know, it's all visual, which is kind of a cool way just to, you know, figure out, you know, how you're going to do this stuff. But that's kind of an interesting way we can go ahead and do this. So that's just a simple way of doing it. We can chase it a little bit more if we wanted to. But there it is, and you're pretty much lined up that way. Uh, if you wanted to make this higher along the side, of course, you could bring your sweep up uh, and make one of these higher and then have it go right along the lip up here at the top. It's all on what you might want to do. Okay, so that's uh, doing this wedding band uh, in this particular case uh, with cage edit.